Hello everyone, for this video, this will be just a continuation of our topic about equation of a circle. But what is our learning target for this? So, I can determine the center and the radius of a circle given its equation in center radius form or in general form. Now, I'm gonna share to you first the following guide questions that hopefully you will be able to answer after watching this video. Okay, so before we start with our seat work, so let us just have a short overview of our topic and in relation to our previous video lesson. So here guys, actually, so what we are going to do is, we're going to do the vice versa only. So before, in our um, first day in equation of a circle, we were able to determine the equation of a circle given the following conditions. So, for now, what we are going to do is, the equation of a circle is already given and we are going to find out the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius. So, it would be a reverse process only. So, I hope it would be easier for you already if you understand the previous lesson that we um, discussed. So, here's our first example. So, here as you can see, what kind of uh, equation is this? So, this is in center radius form. So, to easily um, or to help us find the center and the radius of the circle easily, so we may write first our guide. So, you may rewrite here the format of our um, center radius form before so y minus k squared and then r squared and with this you may now identify what is your h what is your k and what is your r now so you may consider this before i've given you the clue or the shortcut so if it is x plus 5 then you just simply get the inverse or the opposite sign of uh, um, positive 5. So, that would be, your answer would be negative 5. And since we do have here y minus 6, so you would have positive 6. And here, so do not get confused, 81 is not directly our length of radius. But, of course, you need to um, get the square root of 81 because here as you can see 81 is equivalent to r squared and of course we all know the opposite process of squaring a number is getting the square root so with that you get the square root of 81 so what is square root of 81 that is this is equivalent to 9 squared right so that means so look looking at the base so that would be 9 so, therefore, we do have our final answer already for our H is negative 5. For our K, we have positive 6. And for our R, we do have 9. But, of course, we need to write it properly since we are asked about the center of uh, the given circle and then the length of the radius. So, let's write it properly. So, for our center... We have negative 5, 6. So, let us write it. Um, let's put together the H and K. Let's make it into ordered pair. So, negative 5, 6. And you may put semicolon. So, just separate the details. So, and 9, that refers to your length of radius. Or, of course, if you wanted to make it more specific. So, center is negative 5, 6. And your radius is 9. So, sometimes you need to... Um, include the unit of measurement for the length of the radius but sometimes it's okay if you're just going to write it 9 or 9 units or whatever unit of measurement that is mentioned in the problem but here in this problem I did not use any unit of measurement so it's okay already for our next example we do have in center radius form again so we have x squared plus quantity y minus 6 squared equals 36 now observe the given center radius form as you can see we do have here x squared so you recall the previous lesson what do you think is the value of h here wherein we got x squared only for our 
center radius form. So basically, if you can still remember, this one, x squared, we get x squared only because this is originally came from x minus 0 squared, right? And of course, let us just rewrite here for a while the second square of binomial that we've got. And then, um, 36, this is equivalent to r squared, right? So, we may um, convert this 36 into exponential form later on so that it would be easier. So, let us have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals, I'm going to convert it to exponential form. So, we have 6 squared. We all know 6 squared that is equivalent to 36. Now, with this, we can have our, this is our h, this is our k, and this one, the base is our length of the radius. But of course, you need to write your answer properly. So, we have... Uh, 0, 6, and then the length of the radius is 6. So, if you wanted to be more specific, you may write this way. Center is 0, 6. Radius is 6. And as easy as that. Okay, so here for our next problem. So, if you're going to observe the given equation, it is in general form. So, how are we going to find out the center and the length of the radius of the given circle? Now, here, my tip is, uh, your target is to make it into center radius form as well. Why? Because, a while ago, in our first and second problem, it's in center radius form, and with that, we were able to get the value of H and K and then R easily. And so, we need to, to convert this or to make this into center radius form as well so that it would be easier for us to um, get the coordinates of the center and length of the radius. But how? So, we are going to use here completing the square method. But of course, first one is we need to recall, as you can see, we do have here as well, x squared plus y squared minus 6y. So, we do have another here term wherein we just simply got x squared. And that means it already came from x minus 0 squared, right? And now, the remaining terms that we have, you need to group it as well. So, we have y squared minus 6y. So, to perform or to do the completing the square, you need to make this a trinomial, guys. Where in later on, we can factor this out into square of binomial. Okay, so how are we going to do the completing the square? So you just simply look at or get the numerical coefficient of your middle term here. We do have negative 6. And then you just simply divide it by 2 and then square it. As simple as that. So you would have, so if you can see, we do have negative 6 divided by 2. So you would have negative 3 then negative 3 squared, that would be equal to 9, right? So, with that, you may now, um, you may now complete the trinomial here. So, we have y squared minus 6y equals 0. So, we, you may now put positive 9 here. But, of course, since we're dealing with equation, whatever you did at the left side of this equation must be the same thing that you're going to do at the right side. So, since we added positive 9 here, of course, you need to add positive 9 to the right side as well. And then, next to that is, let us simplify. So, x minus 0 squared plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 0 plus 9, we would have uh, positive 9. Next to that is, of course, our target is to make it into center radius form. So, here we do have x minus 0 squared already. Here, let's factor this out into square root of binomial. So, how? So, what is square root of uh, y squared? It's y. What is square root of 9? It's 3. But, what would be the sign here for our 
um, square of binomial. So, you just simply base your sign here in your middle term. So, here as you can see, we do have negative 6y. So, that would be your basis and therefore, this would be negative as well. So, y minus 3, don't forget the square. And then, we have our 9 Okay, so but as you can see, this is not yet our center radius form. We need to convert this 9 into exponential form as well to make it um, exactly the same with our center radius form. So we would have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals what's the exponential form or let's say what's the square root of 9. So we would have 3. So, or you, we may write 3 squared. Okay, so that means we do have our H already. So, we have our H, we have our K, and we have our R. So, you may now write your final answer. So, we have 0, 3, and uh, our length of radius is 3. Or to make it more specific, you may write this way, your center and your radius. Okay guys, so for our last example here, as you can see, the format of our general form is actually complete. So we have x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Therefore, that gives you the clue that there is no value of h and k equivalent to 0. And with that, you will be doing extra... Um, process for completing the square and but of course let's start with uh, if this the case uh, you should um, combine first the like terms here so x squared put together or group i mean so group the like terms here x squared and negative 6x and you put space so uh, we're going to make it trinomial again later and plus group again those like terms so we have uh, y squared as i mean those with the same variable so y squared and the uh, 8y and in this case as you can see we do have our constant 21 so maybe you are in doubt if where are we going to put the positive 21 is it here in our first group with variable x or here in our second group with variable y so actually if this is the case the constant must be transfer to the right side so positive 21 it will be negative 21 okay next to that is of course let's do the completing the square so you may now do what we did a while ago so negative 6 divided by 2 squared and uh, let's have positive 8 divided by 2 squared and now what is our answer for that so let us have here x squared minus 6x so what is the negative 6 divided by 2 squared what is our answer for that so we have positive 9 so therefore we would have here positive 9 next is we have here y squared plus 8y then 8 divided by 2 it's 4 4 squared it's positive 16 so here and of course let's copy negative 21 and guys i told you a while ago whatever numbers or whatever you did at the left side of the equation must be the same thing you're going to do at the right side so that means you are supposed to add as well 9 and 16 here okay and with that so you would have uh, now, we would have x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 8y plus 16. And then, what is 21 plus 9 plus 16? That is positive 4. But, of course, this is not yet our final answer. So, we would have x squared minus 6x maybe it's better if we're going to start with converting our constant with um, exponential form so here for this would be 2 squared and now let's just 
uh, make this trinomials into its square of binomials. So we have here, factor this one. So x squared minus 6x plus 9. So what is square root of x squared? So it's x. What is square root of 9? It's 3. And what's the middle term? What's the sign of the middle term? It's negative. So negative and then squared. Next is going to our second trinomial. Factor this out again. So square root of y squared, it's y. Square root of 16, it's 4. What's the sign of the middle term? It's positive 4 and the square. And then, of course, is simply copy this one in exponential form. And now, we do have our h. We do have our k. We do have our r. And our final answer would be 3 negative 4. So again, you look at this one, x minus 3. So it's, it would be positive 3. y plus 4, so it would be negative 4. And your radius would be 2. Or to make it more specific, so you may write this way. Center, which is 3, negative 4. And radius, which is positive 2. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you learned about determining the center and then the length of the radius given the equation of a circle. Again, thank you so much for watching.